Yeah. Ride with you, ride with you, babe. Sit up right. So, this is a different video from what I usually do. But I feel like this needs to be addressed. But it's a lot of women who don't really know how to take care of their area. I'm going to give y'all some tips on how I take care of my down there. How everything, how I take care of everything. Um, well, I know infection and stuff down there might be normal for some people. I mean, it's not normal for me because I never had one. But a lot of people get it. And I feel like that type of stuff can be prevented. So I'm just going to give y'all some tips and some advice on the stuff that I do and how I keep myself from getting stuff like yeast infections and all that stuff. Like, I know anything can go into it, but this is just like how I have it. Just take my advice, y'all. First things first underwear a lot of females wear really really tight underwear or don't change their underwear as frequently as they should and when i say change i mean buy new ones like so if you don't just keep in mind that you need to you know every once in a while buy new underwear because bacteria no matter how much you wash it bacteria can still get stuck in fabric another thing is um tampons and periods and pads and stuff okay um when you're on your period use everything unscented because when it's scented it has fragrance in it and fragrance is obviously not good for down there like you don't want to spray perfume would you spray perfume down there in inside no you wouldn't so if you use tampons wear unscented tampons because they do have scented tampons just because like natural period smell you can't you can't it's natural period smell don't try to hide it with something scented like scented things can really throw off your ph balance i mean that's so obvious but of course if you're wearing a tampon and it's scented it's actually inside of your body which obviously isn't good for you so yeah so use unscented everything like um unscented pads unscented tampons um and that goes into body wash now um i don't use body wash but if i do it's natural and yeah if i do use body wash it's natural like my coconut oil body wash it, it had fragrance but it was natural like it was a it wasn't so much fragrance like bath and body works like like bath and body works it wasn't that type of fragrance i didn't use it down there so i use bar soap most of the time like dove or zest or all those bar soaps i use that i just feel like they clean better and you're actually getting a clean and it's more it's focusing more on the clean than the scent but if you do use fragrance um like bath and body works or victoria's secret body wash and all that stuff then i suggest that you use it on your body and not down there because throw off your ph Another thing is, I don't believe in vaginal wash. Like, um, what's, what is it? What is it? That, that vagina, vagisil, is that it? I don't know. But I don't believe in that stuff. Like, I just don't, I've never used it. I don't plan on using it ever. But I just stick to my Dove soap or my, you know, f sensitive soaps and bar soaps i don't use body wash unless it's natural or has a slight scent and not very strong or fruity or whatever shaving um i feel like this is can play a part into getting a yeast infection or whatever first of all everybody knows that hair can keep bacteria in and if you don't shave, you just have a buildup of bacteria, even if you wash and blah, blah, blah. Hair can trap bacteria. That's why we wash our hair every other whatever, because if you don't, it's gonna stink, right? It's the same down there. If you don't wash down there and you sweat and you just build up dirt and bacteria, it gets trapped in the hair and it's just not gonna smell good and 
yeah i'm not saying like you have to shave every every day like yeah just keep it low and like manageable to the point where you can actually clean yeah buying new underwear of course and the type of fabric so when i get underwear this is the type of underwear i use um i can't really wear cotton underwear or anything tight because for one it's uncomfortable um so i just get like the spandex type of underwear like the stretchy underwear um i don't know exactly what it's called but that's the type that i use it's stretchy it's comfortable it's it looks good still it's not like grandma panties or nothing but it's stretchy um they have them at victoria's secret um i got a couple from there yeah the stretchy type i don't know what it's called they come in all styles they come in bikini you know all them type of styles but they're just stretchy and every once in a while let yourself breathe like don't wear underwear to sleep um another thing is washing where you're using the bathroom when you're using the bathroom don't sit on the toilet like squat i never ever 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 if i do i put the the um i either put toilet paper on the toilet or um what's that stuff called that little stuff that you pull out and sit it on the toilet the little sheets toilet sheet yeah do that just be more cautious like you never know who could have sat on that before you and got something on the toilet and then you sit on it after them and then you an infection like they could have had <laughs> What? they could have had a blue waffle or something and you just sat on the toilet that they sat on and they got their blue waffle on like y'all need to be very cautious and make sure anything you put down there is yours. Like, don't wear nobody underwear. I don't know. Don't borrow nobody's nothing. Like, that's just nasty. I, I just feel like go the more natural road. Don't worry about so much about smelling like fruit and daisies and all that stuff. Just worry about being clean and smelling good but not like fruity and you know perfuming like you can add a little bit of oil to your body like i use oil where my oil at my oil over there i just put it right here boop 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 all over my clothes i don't put it on my body i don't put it on my skin down there i don't do nothing like don't you don't know what they putting in there and then you putting it down there you don't know so yeah um what else i really think that's it just make sure you keep oh take showers that's the most simple one take showers every day like especially when you're on your period take showers every day you can take my advice or not but this is just i've never had anything and i think these are the reasons why when i get out the shower i put lotion on everything so don't put um you know perfumey lotion down there and if you do put it on the pelvic area I think that's what it's called, like the top part, but not like down, you know what I'm saying? Don't put perfumey anything down there. Don't spray down there. Just be like, do I really, like, would I eat this? Would I put this in my mouth? No, that's not a good. Just be like, would I, would I put this on my baby? Like, if I had a child, would I put this on my child's skin? Would I put really put, like, Victoria's Secret Lotion on my baby's skin? Like, do that. That's not a good example either, but y'all get the gist of this video. I'm just trying to help y'all out. Um, go more natural. Go the more natural route. Everything be all right, don't it? You know what I'm saying? You smelling good. Looking good, smelling good, feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. If you know somebody with these problems, send this to them. It's not shade. It's not nothing. It's just a little bit of help yeah so i hope y'all learned something so i hope y'all like this video make sure you thumbs it up and tell your friends about my channel um make sure you subscribe tell them about this video if you know they got a problem like y'all at the club or something and then you just get a whiff and you be like who was that and then you look over and your friend dancing and you like that was you 
and then you don't really want to say nothing. So just slide this video to them, you know what I'm saying? I will see you guys in the next video.